All right, Jess, thank you. Meantime, the Delta Regional Authority is giving more than a million dollars to projects all across the state. Yeah, St. Francis Medical Center in Monroe is giving a cut of that money, too. Dee Dee Willis joins us live from the hospital tonight. What are they planning to do with it all, Dee Dee? Well, Chris and Jennifer, the hospital plans to put in a brand new helicopter pad. I talked with some workers who say this is going to improve their overall response time with hopes to always have a life-saving outcome. I feel like I was called to nursing as a ministry. And Crystal Lewis feels she can fulfill that calling even more now. Delta Regional Authority is giving St. Francis Medical Center a grant of $150,000. Lewis says it's needed. So because we're a level three NICU, we take care of the sickest um, moms and the sickest babies in the region. Um, having the helipad will allow us to serve um, all of Region 8. The hospital plans to put in a helipad. That way they can improve response time, especially in life or death situations. We start providing care immediately and get back to the hospital as quickly as possible. Right now, a patient can be moved up to four more times once arriving by helicopter. The helipad could cut that down to two transports, putting patients in care in hands faster. A helipad just enhances those services even more. Ami Kane is the St. Francis Medical Center Foundation president. Their main goal is to support the hospital in any way possible. To help St. Francis keep those services, that level of service here. Kane says the helipad won't be just for babies though. Along with it being able to extend to other adult patients when it comes to stroke and heart. She says they wouldn't be able to make these improvements without the people. A person, a business, a grateful patient, a physician supporting us means so much. Taking St. Francis Medical Center to the next level to provide procedures, care, and support like no other. St. Francis has been here 105 years, and our goal is to make sure we're here another 105 years. Now they're expecting the helicopter pad to be complete by in the beginning months of next year. Chris, Jennifer.